Okay, this is a song I wrote, 22 years old, working up, as, an, as working as a hook tender. And um, my buddy on a different side, he fell out of a snake trying to line up road line. He's looking through the fog, he's trying to see the tower to see where it's the haywire at. And he fell out, busted himself up. He wrote this song the night he was down there at the Uncle Hospital getting checked out. Here we go. Pushing their politics and acting so pure We could take all them socialists up in the woods We'll lock all the gates, yeah, we won't say a word We'll bring our own justice, which comes from a jug And we'll leave them all lying underneath dug for stumps We don't need your preaching or pushing around You keep all your bullshit away from my town Well, this way of life fought hard to keep, and so did the men who died before me. Well, old mother nature's a bit ball of twine, and without you she's doing just fine. I said without you she's a living just fine. This is a the spotted out, he's endangered, you know. The loggers up there are just big dumb oafs. Well, we're gonna stop them with love and Old hands and nothing can happen And through the picket lines An old girl comes crashing It looks like hugging trees It's just gone out of fashion Stand up for what you believe in And be ready to die With the handcuffs they drop When a beggar pull flies And back to the cities And their buses they run To hop on the internet And tell what they've done While the logger goes home Gets out of the sun when he walks through his front door, his own reward comes in the form of his children and his bacon and beans. He means what he says and he says what he means. We don't need your preaching or pushing around. You keep all your bullshit away from my town. Well, this way of life we have fought hard to keep, and so did the men who died before me. Well, old Mother Nature's a big ball of twine And without you she's doing just fine I said without you she's living just fine I went to work for Gilkerson and Dad well, Now he calls me up on the telephone He called me a couple times but I wasn't home It had been so long since I worked by then I didn't know if I could work again He said I'd like for you to cut some trees I don't pay too bad but I'm hard to please And there's one more thing for you to understand Get her done next week if you possibly can so I took out a loan and I bought me a saw I worked two days and asked for a draw He says, that ain't the way we run this crew Payday's a tenth, even for you So I was a-cutting them down and bucking them up When I brushed one by his new pickup truck He started yelling out the window, shaking his head Probably just as well I couldn't hear what he said well, I blame it on the wind, give him some song and dance and Talked him into giving me another chance But then I hit the main line, shook things around Come real close to pulling the tower down Old Carl's up in the yard and he looks out at me And I just grinned and faced another tree But he's a nervous type and you could tell it when Took a while to get him up in a cab again now up by the road the trees are really thick And it looked like I'd be getting done pretty quick Ever so often there's a truck that go by Didn't seem to bother him but I don't know why 
There was Folio's Kenworth and a short log or two They was sitting there waiting for old Doyle to get through And just when Dick finished his second load I crashed to begging along beside the road Now they were standing there a jawing like truck drivers do Telling big stories and swearing it's true But when the limbs quit falling and the dust settled down I didn't see anyone standing around now from that day on, things didn't go well How long I'd be working there, I couldn't tell But when I finished my strip, packed out my tools They sent me off to some cutting school He said you're supposed to get smart, learn real fast Get the next unit done, sooner than last And be sure to pick your shots and to hit all your lays Or you'll be down the road in a couple of days you're gonna have to get some more cutters, he said I can't have this equipment Sitting here dead, I need more trees cut to make her go So I heads out to find old Bunch of Snow Now down at the seagull, they was hanging around Seeing how much oily they could guzzle down And I walked in the door and said I need two fools So grease up your boots and throw in your tools I got a real good place for you both to start As long as you're strong and still not too smart And I knew they were good Right off the bat they wore a 48 shirt And a size 2 hat You got slashers and crashers and thrashers and such But he wasn't prepared These guys are too much He said I shouldn't have started them in the old growth patch This wood wasn't meant to go to a diamond match Now for the rest of the crew I never seen it like he got breath the jet Hooked into Mike and Terry Lou setting chokers and Dick's loading logs. I tell you, this logging has gone to the dogs. Yes, it kind of reminds me of the snag fallers, ball. If you're not related, then you don't work at all. But all things considered, guess it ain't too bad. This here working for Gilkison and Dad. We stuck right together through all the good and bad And if I got rid of her now, well, I'd feel kind of bad somehow That old gal's the best friend I ever had Now my old McCall and me, we've tackled every kind of tree Me with a hangover, her with a real bad cough me with my head a pounding, her as bad as she was sounding. We hung right in there, never thought of laying off. She's kicked me and bit me and scratched me. I guess that's only fair. There was times when I didn't treat her right. I didn't keep her air filled or clean, and I fed her cheap gasoline. I left her out in a snowstorm overnight In weather eight or ten below I've dug her up out of the snow Dried her off, filled her with gasoline Knowing I'd been a big dope I yanked on her starter rope And she purred sweet as any little kitten you ever seen I know there's gonna come a day but I'll have to put her away Buy a new saw to keep up with the pace I know she needs a rest And I know she deserves the best I've already picked out her final resting place Oh, my old McCullough and me We tackled every kind of tree Me with a hangover, her with a real bad girl me with my head up pounding, her as bad as she was sounding. We hung right in there, never thought of laying off. Mm -hmm, me and my old McCullough saw. Old McCullough saw. This next song I'd like to dedicate to any of the folks in the house who may be of French Canadian descent. This is a story about the northern Quebec lumberjack. 
Quand on voit un amour sur un pistolet et un linceau, on s'imagine la venture du cowboy au grand chapeau. Quand on voit les serpentes, un hache et un boxeur, reconnaissent ce que c'est le bûcheron du Canada. Oh oui, il est bon de capable, ce Canadien, ce bûcheron. And a gun, you think about a cowboy beneath the prairie sun, but I sing about a pine tree with a buck saw and an axe. I sing about a big man, the Canadian lumberjack. Oh, hey, the happy working bushman of Canada, he's a lumberjack. Oh, hey, the master of the bushland, he's born to live. By the big bold axe, he is born to live. By the big bold axe, the grand matin il se lève et prend un bon déjeuner. La bonne crêpe du gain des pieds, le grand spécial du cuisinier. Il n'a pas peur de l'ouvrage, des sept ans et les tourbois. Il faut avoir du courage, le bûcheron du Canada. Oh oui. Whopper giant breakfast of pancakes, beans, and mush. And then you'll hear him whistle all morning through the bush. And when it comes to hard work, there's just no turning back. That son of a gun of an iron Canadian lumberjack. Oh, hey, to the happy working bushman of Canada. He's a lumberjack. Oh, hey, to the master of the bushland. He's born to live by the big bold axe. He's born to live by the big bold axe. Et pour passer la soirée, il pousse avec ses copains. Il chante qui se bien la mer, les pousse vers plein temps pour chien. And when his day is over, he'll talk with many chums. He'll sing about the sweetheart. He'll wed when springtime comes. Oh, hey. If you're ever in some logging town and you meet one on the street, you're going to think there's the meanest man anybody'd want to meet. But when you really get to know one, that's when you'll understand. Where there walks a logger, there walks a man. I've seen two loggers stand toe to toe and slug it out in a free-for-all fight. And when it was over, they'd get up and shake hands and laugh and drink together the rest of that night. I've seen a logger pick up a baby bird and put it back into its nest. And I've never heard one criticizing a man when he knew he was doing his best. They're a rough, rowdy breed of people, but it's a rough life they live. And most of the time their job's demanding just a little bit more than they can get. They come home at night so doggone tired, bruised and cut and sore. Get up next morning with a big old grin and go right back out for more. To the same steep muddy hillsides they were cussing the day before. Well, 
walks a logger. There walks a man. I think a logger loves his family just a little bit more than most men. As he knows if he makes just one mistake, he'll never get to see him again. Oh, a line could break or a tail hold slip and cut a man half in two. The danger's there lurking everywhere and the rewards are just all too few. But it's a life he chose and whichever way it goes, his family will understand. Because when he walks in through that door at night, they know that there walks a man. Loggers don't sit around much discussing church, religion, or prayer. But a wise man once said, if you ever get to heaven, you'll be surprised who you run into there. And when the last trumpet's been sounded, all of life's secrets unfold. We'll find more than one set of cork boot tracks on those streets that are solid gold. Where there walks a logger, there walks a man.
Just when things is running kind of smooth and I'm picking up a little slack. And my bank account's almost out of the red, edging over into the black. And once in a while I'm even wearing a smile instead of just a constant frown. The weather's holding good and we're moving the wood. Well, that's when something breaks down. That's when something breaks down. After two good months, I made a down payment on a brand new pickup and car. And that big new boat, I don't know if it'll float, cause time will only stretch so far. I got a brand new camper, a brand new rifle, cause hunting season's coming around. And big dumb me, I should be able to see that something is sure to break down. Something is sure to break down. Well, that's when I feel like bunching this outfit and just up and walking away. Quit Jippo logging, get me a job, at least I'll be drawing some pay. But I can't quit now, I'm in too deep. I owe everybody in town. And it's a race to see if my equipment or me is the first to completely break down. I promised my kid I'd buy him a car if he'd just stay in school. And my wife talked me into getting all new furniture. Now how's that for being a fool? My daughter's in college, needed a car and a big old apartment in town. More people than me better pray constantly that none of my equipment breaks down. None of my equipment breaks down. I don't mean to say that there ain't times when Lady Luck smiles on me. That's what keeps a jippo logger a going, and the bright side is all he can see. Oh, he's doing what he loves, he loves what he's doing when the logs are rolling into town. But he's still cuss and swear and pull out his hair each time something breaks down. Each time something breaks down. Well, that's when I feel like bunching this outfit, just up and walking away. Quit Jippo logging and get me a job, at least I'll be drawing some pay. But I can't quit now, I'm in too deep, I owe everybody in town. And it's a race to see if my equipment or me is the first to completely break down.
once had a friend named Joe, the biggest lumberjack in all of Idaho. He worked like a dog from day to day. He drew ten cents an hour for his pay. Come Saturday evening, it had him a ball. It'd ride him a log over Idaho Falls. But now old Joe, he's laid to rest. He forgot the slogan that he learned best. He learned best. He learned best. Timber on a windy day, stay out of the wood, you better listen what I say. Rims in the top line will go either way, don't you cut timber on a windy day. Windy day. Don't you cut timber on a windy day, stay out of the wood, you better listen what I say. Rims in the top line will go either way, don't you cut timber on a windy day. Had a girl and her name was Ann Had arms like a bull and muscles like a man And when she heard old Joe was dead She picked up her axe and away she fled Up in the mountains where the trees grow tall It was in her mind to cut them all Folks around here says to this day That Ann's still up there chopping away Chopping away, chopping away Timber on a windy day, stay out of the wood, you better listen what I say. Limbs in the top, I will go either way, don't you cut timber on a windy day. Windy day. Don't you cut timber on a windy day, stay out of the wood, you better listen what I say.